Hey friends, it's Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. And if you're coming back, I'm sure happy to see you again today. We are working with the kombucha. All right, they say third time's a charm, right? I have tried to record this, I don't know how many times, and I've been struggling with it. So, I'm gonna try again, and I'll show you what I have done, and what we're gonna do, and we're just gonna put together some kombucha. It's the time of year where I love drinking kombucha. It's so fresh, and so refreshing in the summer on ice, when you've been outside working in the garden or doing whatever you do, to come home and have yourself a little cup of kombucha is nothing but a delight. So if you paid attention, I have put out a video previously where I brought back my kombucha back to life, or at least I was trying to. And I'm pretty sure I succeeded. Although I am not, my pellicle did not grow, I have kombucha in my fridge. We're gonna give it a taste test and we're gonna make some more. So over here in this corner, I have my kombucha brewing. This is a continuous brew system. It's where I will pull tea off the top and then add more again. Today, I'm going to make some kombucha. I'm doing this in the big batches because I couldn't find my smaller jars and so I couldn't find my smaller jars and then now that I finally have, they're dirty and I've got to sanitize them. This is candied ginger. I just love ginger. So I'm gonna put just a few here in the bottom. Doesn't need to be very much, but I do like that. I don't know if it's a, a bite, a bitterness, or what you wanna call it. And then I also have some candied pineapple mango pieces. And I thought that sounded very tropical. So I'm gonna add some of those. Of course, my hands are nice and clean. I'm gonna add, oh, they smell good. I'm gonna taste one. They taste good too. I see, because they're candied, they're gonna have lots of sugar on them. I wanna make sure I have lots of flavor, so I'm gonna be generous with this. Mm, they're very good, very sweet. I've heard conflicting things, so this is a bit of an experiment for me. But I have some large pieces of dried coconut. And I love coconut. So I'm gonna add some of this in there too. I don't know if the oils from the coconut will affect this in a negative way or not. I'm hoping not. But I wanted to try something different today. So now I'm gonna go over here to my continuous brew system. And I'll lift this up and show you. You can see that it's fizzy and active. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour off the bottom and in the bottom is where you actually have your SCOBY, your symbiotic uh, bacteria. At the top is just a pellicle. I wanna leave myself, oh, a cup and a half to two cups. The pellicle is at the top. Earlier today, I like using green tea. Now there's controversy on whether or not that would be considered Jun. Jun, it's not. It doesn't use honey. A little tip for you, you don't wanna squeeze these bags. That could make it bitter. This tea had eight tea bags eight cups of water, and a cup of sugar. I'm gonna add this in here. Oops, 
Spill it a little. I'm going to go ahead and fill to the rim with room temperature water. You could put up to you could put up to another eight cups. And then I'm going to cover it back up with my cloth. I like to put this on there to keep it dark and just kind of scoot it back. And that's it. That's it to get more going. Now about a week ago, I did what you just saw, except I let this sit out on the counter probably a week. And every couple days I would burp it. Then I put it in the refrigerator for about two days. We're gonna see. It was seeping. Okay, good deal. It's not overly, <laughs> overly fizzy, that's good. I like this lid because it has this plastic seal and I can't wait to give this a test. You notice I'm not using anything metal. Stir it up, give it a little fizz back to it. There is raisin. I'm making a bigger mess than I'm intended to. I have raisin and ginger and apple in here. Y'all, I'm making a bigger mess than I should be. Wipe this off. And I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator. But I do like to put a bowl under it just in case it were to decide to leak. Now, typically when you put these things in the refrigerator, they kind of stop the fermenting process. It, it doesn't completely stop, it still goes, it's just slow. And so that's why um, it had lost some of the fizz from when I originally put it in there after I burped it. But it still has some fizz to it and we're gonna give it a little taste test. Ooh. It has good flavor. I do think I let it sit out a little bit too long because it does have a slight vinegary taste to it. So this next batch, I'm not gonna have it set in the jug. Um, that's why I didn't have it be in the continuous brew system quite as long because I just, I'm not quite, you kind of work up to that stronger vinegary flavor. Now, you saw that fruit in there and how I left it in there. I did that for flavoring. You can absolutely use fruit juice if you don't wanna use fruit pieces. But another suggestion I have for you is to save those pieces and feed them to your animals. They're good for your chickens, your dogs. Um, you can put them out for any of the farm animals that you might have or your pets and let them nibble on them because it's good for their guts too. Cheers for now, friends. See you next time. You never know what we're going to do.